90%. 90% of Americans agree with comprehensive background checks. Americans don't agree with each other or do the same thing 90% of the time ever. Except maybe lie about the fact that they're virgins before marriage. Sorry, mom. Point is, they agree on this. Then there's the question of assault weapons. Why are people choosing this weapon? Let's take those hope and prayer loving politicians out of it and talk to some real Americans and someone who actually works with guns. We are in the LAX firing range, correct? We are. We are. We're going to hear the, the sweet, soft sounds of guns popping as we do this interview. Living the dream. What's your background in the gun world? Uh, well, I was prior military, I was in the Navy. What is the certification that you have? I'm uh, currently just uh, NRA firearms instructor. Oh, so NRA has said check. But let it be known, the NRA likes you. <laughs> they do. All right, so he's approved. Now, despite polls that show that around 90% of the country agrees on expanded background checks, it feels like the NRA has conditioned us to believe that gun owners and professionals don't want background checks. Except on the issue of background checks, how do you feel? I'm, I'm for it. Yeah. yeah. And do you think, in fact, people should get training before they use a gun? I do. I do. Um, Wait, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> one, one more time. I, I agree with uh, involving training as part of the the criteria to purchase firearms. Just like you're. Need to just take a, take a beat. I just <laughs> need to have a you moment. Need to get a driver's license. You need to go learn how to drive. If you're going to buy a firearm, I think you should learn how to use a firearm. I'm blown away. <laughs> Can you imagine? He wants someone to be trained before they use a gun. So yeah. Can we also add training to the national discussion? Because when Connecticut mandated training, gun killings fell by 40%. And when Missouri got rid of their similar law, gun-related homicides rose 23%. Pretty sure if you had to take a course or test before owning a potentially deadly weapon, it would help determine if you should have it in the first place. We do it with cars, why not with guns? And depending on your state, it's harder to get married, divorced, own a Komodo dragon, vote, or adopt Mr. Biggles than it is to get a gun. The NRA seems pretty intent on shouting out that things are just fine as they are. And while I'm pretty sure the victims in Orlando would disagree, how about we ask the guy who, you know, actually works with guns? So why would he, a guy who at least had probably been around guns, would he seek out the AR-15? You can shoot quickly with it. Uh, the rifle is easier to, to shoot. It's, it's, you're more accurate with a rifle than you are with a handgun. It's an easier killing machine. If you want to put it that way, sure. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there is a reason why they issue it to soldiers. To recap, it's a weapon of war. In fact, when I called three other gun ranges, they all said the same thing as to why this weapon is so popular. Even the NRA admits how powerful and potentially deadly it is. Comforting, right? Assault weapons. The name tell says in itself, like you shouldn't have something with that name. I mean, I also believe in banning assault weapons. There's no reason that any civilian should be able to own an assault rifle. It's just kind of ridiculous. What if they want to shoot Bambi? Well, then they can use a rifle. That's what hunting rifles are for. Assault weapons are for killing people. Is there a middle ground? Uh, I, I believe there is. You believe there is? Is there some form of compromise what? there? <laughs> what? Is that, is that the, the dastardly C word that you just used? It is. A compromise? <laughs> tell that to Congress. <laughs> they feel real good. Also, tell that to your friends at the NRA. <laughs> you, should, you should send them a note. Wayne LaPierre could, could learn a thing or two from you. Uh, They're not going to like me anymore. <laughs> they may not. To recap, there's a way forward. Given our politics these days, the C word would be the least we could do. Plus, Senators wouldn't need to stand for 15 hours while wearing a diaper. Yes, they do that because everyone pees. What's happening in the Senate and Congress overall is a bunch of bullshit, lining their pockets in exchange for our lives. Even if we can't stop all tragedies, we can and must do better to prevent as many of them from happening as possible. If you're angry, do something about it. Get involved, donate, and vote for pro-gun control candidates. We need to make sure our voices are louder than the NRA. Fortunately, 90% of America has our back. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.